In today's episode, we will be unboxing the Renesas TB-S3A1. But before getting into that, a little introduction to the S3A1 group of Synergy MCUs. The S3A1 uses the energy-efficient and high-performing ARM Cortex-M4 CPU core with floating point unit, running at up to 48 MHz. With 1 MB of flash memory, 192 KB of SRAM, 8 KB of data flash, and ultra-low power consumption, thanks to Renesas's proprietary silicon process, is perfectly suited for wearables, portable medical and fitness devices, smart connected sensors, building control, fire and security control, thermostats, and appliances. Floating point computations and even DSP operations are executed with minimal CPU clock cycles for efficient pre-processing of acquired data before the data is stored or securely transmitted. A built-in segment LCD controller with capacitive touch interface enables the use of low-cost display glass to address many mid-range HMI applications. These attributes, along with security features such as True Random Number Generator and AES, make Synergy S3 Series MCUs uniquely the right fit for many connected portable applications. The S3A1 MCU group is both pin and peripheral compatible with the Synergy S124, S128, S3A3 and S3A7 MCU groups. In addition, the S3A1 is peripheral compatible with the S5D9 and S7G2 MCU groups. This allows easy migration across the entire Synergy platform. Synergy Target Board Kits provide an inexpensive entry point to evaluation, prototyping and developing for the Synergy family of MCUs. The boards provide pin headers that allow access to the MCU signals as well as several onboard peripherals. This target board showcases the Synergy S3A1 MCU in an LQFP144 package. It is supported by the E2 Studio ISDE from Renesas as well as the IAR embedded workbench for Renesas Synergy. The box comes with a micro USB cable and the board itself. Here's what you'll find on the board. Pin headers provide access to all signals of the microcontroller. Onboard Sega J-Link debugger. Main power input of 5 volts from the debug USB connector and optional 3.3 volts from header pins. Jumper providing options for MCU main power and battery power current monitoring. Full speed USB 2.0 device port. Status LEDs, user LED and user buttons. Capacitive touch as well as mechanical. 10 pin header for optional external debug probe connection. 32.768 kHz RTCC crystal and 12 MHz MCU clock crystal. MCU reset push button. MCU boot configuration jumper. For more information about this kit and where to order it, please visit this link. <laughs>